interrupt this program to bring you Blue Jeans Podcast. This is the Hood Jesus Podcast. I'm Lady T. And I'm Ms. 100. The official media for the hood. And this is episode 113. 113. Wow. 113, y'all. Okay. So um, today's title is Eagle Tripping. Yep. Eagle Tripping. We know everybody got all these different crazy egos and shit. And they lead them to sometimes bad decisions. Sometimes they lead them to great decisions. You know what I mean? Sometimes they'll leave you alone. Yeah, alone. <laughs> nobody want to fuck with you. Nobody be bothered. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. But y'all know how we like to do this. Get into oh, our weeks. Yes, absolutely. You know absolutely. what I mean? You want to go first or? I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Okay. Uh, my week was cool. Um, it's been very busy. Um, yo, I'm still a little tired. Uh, last night, I uh, went and celebrated uh, my homie Joe birth no not damn I'm sorry not birthday yeah, right but uh, he had a, lot, a housewarming uh, just got a law or whatever out in Jersey so all the fellas got together and went out there we had a good time it was nice seeing everybody and see a lot of people in a long time get to see what they doing um and just I was running around like crazy yesterday like even like before all that um um getting myself together like trying to Eat right, still stay on that. Uh, got a little bit of exercise in there. We went to the track. So you back at the gym? Yeah, well, I, um, yesterday I went to the gym for a little bit. Then uh, went actually to the track. I actually went to St. Joe's track out there. The city had across, you know, from Landmark. Yo. <laughs> Yo, listen. How many laps you on? One. <laughs> Yo, and I'm stupid. Not stupid, but I should have known better not to you're just jump to, right yeah, into that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're supposed to stretch I, I just stressed probably for like one minute. Yeah, you know how old we are, right? I know, I know. Listen, you could do that back in the I day when had you had a heart jump. attack. You could have yeah. had a heart attack. We and then the heat. Recording. Yeah, yo, I was tripping, it yo. Was, the humidity was high yesterday. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah you just got to be careful. You got to make sure you're, you're hydrated and you stretch before you actually run. Yup, yup, yup. Yeah. So I did one lap around. <laughs> it was cool. I felt good. But then I was like, yo, let me sit down. And then okay. I just did a, a walk around. Then mm-hmm. did a little bit of uh, just like, you know, jumping jacks and push-ups and all that. Okay. But it was good. Felt good. You know, and then I was running around, doing the Uber thing. Um, I'm really liking the Uber thing because I just feel relaxed. I, I like the fact that I can make money without walking into an office. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. That the car is asking my office. I ain't got nobody over my back. It's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Um, to do that as a part-time job. Nice, nice. So I'm, I'm, I'm digging that. You know what I mean? Okay. Good. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, my week was as, as busy as usual. Um, work week was good. Um, Outside of work, I just want to say I'm so glad the kids are getting out of school June the 4th. That's all I want to say. Oh, this week? This This is the last week? The last week. They get out June the 4th because I am so tired. Damn. So, this is the last week of school. So, that means traffic is going about to be lighter in the morning and everything. Some some nice, good parking. Um, Yeah. And, you know, because I work next door to a school, I won't hear howling and screaming and the teachers almost stroking out howling at the children it's just it's a mess it's a mess how these schools are set up now it's a shame like i never expected to see kids so small Mm -hmm. with so much anger and so much just it's like they they carrying the world on their shoulders it's a shame that they can't even enjoy being a child yeah you know that is yeah yeah that is a shame because you know we don't know their what they house what they is, coming, what they, they coming, coming up with, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. So a lot of them probably are feeling that stress. You right. know, kids be depressed. Yeah, they be, they be, be stressed. depressed and stressed out yeah. as well as adults. Like, they're little, they're, they're little adults. But, yeah. they, you know, they're they growing up. But it's like, they're not even getting a chance to really enjoy their childhood because there's so much on them. Mm-hmm. You know, they actually taking care of the household, believe it or not. Yeah. You'd be surprised yeah, some of the stories we hear. Um, You know, it's just, you know, I can't really reveal too much of, you know, 
people's information, but it's just it's just very surprising. You know, eight, nine, ten years old kids are depressed the way they are. And then you'd be wondering why they don't perform so well in school, right, in school because right. they actually depressed. And they could actually be a, a smart student. Yeah. It's just that they're dealing with so much. It's like they can't even really enjoy recess or hobbies. They, you know, they're stressing out because they don't want to go home. Damn. So school is really the outlet. But then you got other kids with the same um, situation that they're going through. So now you fighting with them kids. So it's like, damn, you, I don't have peace nowhere. I don't have peace at home. I don't have peace when I come to school. You know, then the teachers. Some of these teachers are out of pocket. Some of these teachers are just going in for a check. They really don't care to teach our children. They just there just to get a check. So they shut down. They let the class run itself. So now you got kids being bullied. Kids just trying to kids that's trying to learn but can't learn because the teacher's scared to even get up and teach the class. Yep. You yep. know, so it's just crazy. Yep. But, um I don't want to elaborate too much on that, but yeah. Um, so Friday, um, I had some training that lasted up to maybe almost 12, 12 midnight. And then Saturday um, was Angie's uh, bowling, bowling party. party. Yeah. Or, yeah. Every uh, every year, Angie, um, my sister friend, she has like a nice little um, cookout in the park over here on 33rd and... No, that the, the park is that's 29th and Chalmers. 29th and Chalmers. Yeah, damn, it's your neighborhood. Yeah, yo. listen, 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 listen. <laughs> I was like, out drinking. I was yeah. out drinking. So but listen. you know what? Only reason why I remember that because it's, it's tied to football. I remember right, going right, there and right. playing Dobbins because I played yeah, for Rocks Mustangs. Woo. Yeah, they used to kill us. Yeah, yeah. Mustangs, Dobbins, must. The Dobbins used to kill Roxboro yeah. Indians. Yeah, like, I'm you know glad. I mean? I'm glad you you know you own up to that. Oh yeah, because I was on that field so and they used to dominate us. You not you were tripping. That's what... nah, not at all. Yeah, I know. You know Dobbins, I mean? Dobbins football team was oh, ridiculous. They was, they was This is murdering. This is the '90s. I'm talking about. Oh, absolutely, you know I mean? absolutely. Yeah, yeah Yo, they, the, was, they the, had a uh, nice run the, with the mid '80s into the '90s. Oh, I don't know about the 80s, yeah, but, but I know. Yeah, I know about well, because yeah. I do history on the Yeah, because you're school. Yeah. Killing the Mustangs for life, baby. Yeah. Mustangs for life. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's one thing I, I know about y'all. <laughs> y'all Dobbins, you know, alumni. Oh, you definitely. know, y'all stick together. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I know a lot absolutely. of uh, Dobbins um, alumni. Yeah. Yo, y'all. And I swear for goodness, that, that really, like, starts up a lot of good conversation. Like, why high school you went to? And we find out we, you know, both went to... I was in this like we we family we instant family yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> I don't care what year you graduated I don't care you went to Dobbins you graduated from Dobbins or we yeah. must stay for life yeah. <laughs> so that's that's something great um that we have um other than that um honestly I feel bad because I didn't even go to church today and yeah you was tired I was tired I was tired my body just really shut down from all the not like in the streets hanging out it was just that from work I was doing my training and it just took a toll on me so my body actually just shut down yeah it so, will. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And you have to listen to your body. Absolutely. Yeah, I know I'm not a spring to. chicken no more. I know I got to yeah. listen to my body because I don't want to be walking in the street one day and just collapse. Yeah, and then you don't want to be walking around with a fucking <laughs> sandbags under your eyes and shit like that. And right. like, God damn, she really do look her age. <laughs> you know what I'm you, saying? You funny with that one. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying. No, but in the jeans. Yeah. I, don't, I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it. But I'm just saying, yeah. like, you see, taking care of your body. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I know what take care of your body. Not abusing your rest. body. Yeah. Proper rest. You know what I mean? That shit wear and tear on your body. It is. It you is. know, we see people and we'll be like, damn, life did them wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm you saying? You know, you do not say it like that. You won't be that. You'll be like, wait a minute. Yeah. You'd be like, damn, yeah. man, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah you know, you won't be that people calm. you grew up with. You know yeah, what I mean? I know. Like, God damn. I know. Because sometimes I'll be like, scratching my. Hey, man, who? Then it take me like a go while to figure out who it was. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. They got to pull out some motherfucking back in the day pictures. <laughs> childhood pictures. This is like you. A- this is me. I'm still like, you sure? Like, yo, I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking at the picture. I remember that, but, but it- I don't know. <laughs> Right now, <laughs> let me let me take some blood. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, yeah. But you know what though? I want to talk about this. I don't know if you. I didn't finish it, but it's a. Um, I think everybody need to watch this on Netflix. When they see us. When they see I us. I ring watched it. Yeah. I watched it. You watched all it's four episodes, right? Mini series. It's right? a mini series. Yeah, I watched the first episode. Okay. Right. And I'm gonna tell you. Listen. I. I I knew a little bit about right, the, the right, Central Park right. Five, you know, before this, mm-hmm. but I ain't 
you, you know, when they do a, a documentary or a movie about something, mm-hmm. you really get that feeling involved right. in you. You know what I'm saying? And it opens up your eyes on a lot of other people that's in jail, falsely accused um, because they wasn't well educated or they just was probably tired of being interrogated. Yeah. You know, like sometimes when them, them them cops get you in the room, they know what they doing, and they got you in there for hours, nothing to drink, nothing to eat. It's a form of torture. You know you did it. You know you did. You like, damn it, all right, I did it. Yeah, you just want to go to you your just cell, like, go to the cell, it. lay down. Yeah, and it's it's a shame how so many innocent people are in jail because of that. Yeah, because it's of a, the criminal system. That's a that's a torturing tactic. It really is. It really you know is. what I'm saying? And I really hate that whole no snitching. No snitching. Uh, you know that logic. I, yo, crazy. I hate that logic. I really yeah. hate it. I really hate it. Yeah. I really hate it, and it, it, it causes a, a lot of beef within the community. You know, amongst our, you know, our, our, our men. Yeah. You know, and then I mean, it gets the women too because now they knocking off women too. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, yeah. but that's facts. Listen, this is you know no I mean? snitching. Like originally, who started it? The uh, the Italians, right? Yeah, but somebody, somebody, this old head boy told me, and I, I man, I always respect what the, the elders like right. to say to me. Right. So old head boy was like, yo, that whole no snitching shit actually originated from cops, like KKK members, right. shit that they was doing to, you know, the black people. Right. Then they became cops and then mm-hmm. that shit carried over. So you wasn't, you wasn't supposed to tell yeah. who they originally were because they were it's, KKK yeah, members a, or. Yeah, it's like right. a gang. Like you don't, you don't. You ain't supposed to tell what we doing out here for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? I can, re- you, you I, see, I can, I can really see that being how yeah, it originally started. Yeah, they were saying those snitching shit came from the cops. And then, just shit. like us, we just sit up here and just adapt to yeah. everything that's not for us. Yeah, then you know, with that whole Italian mafia thing, how they glamorized that. But what's funny about that is some of the most high profile mafia Italian mafioso dudes are snitches. Yeah, but <laughs> so with them it was supposed to be that you wasn't supposed to like when you go to, when you get caught by the cops. Mm-hmm. You know You're supposed to say nothing. You're supposed to say take nothing. it on the chin. Just take it on the and, chin and, and do the they time. They take care of your family. They take right. But come on. In but the black community we adapted, that really happened? we adapted it and just tuck and tuck it for a hell of a spin. You yep. know, so yep. it, it's just ignorant the way we adapted the no snitching. Yeah. And we talk about that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. One of my favorite movies, The Bronx Tell, when they, you know, incorporate that in there. Mm-hmm. You know, the little young boy, when the cops came to him, he didn't snitch. He right. seen it. Right. But he snitched. He said, no, I didn't see nothing. I didn't see yeah. nothing. <laughs> but and with him doing that, mm-hmm. they honored him as a young boy. Right. You know what I mean? The sunny. You know, Sonny, Sonny right. was like, yo, I'm taking him. He did whatever. Did anything he wanted for him. You know what I mean? Because right. he didn't snitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, keep but, yeah. Right but, yeah. Make sure y'all go see that, y'all. Um, it's called When They See Us miniseries by Ava DuVernay uh, about the Central Park Five, about the five young African-American men that were falsely accused of raping and exalting a uh, white woman in Central Park. And I'm telling y'all, that's a must-see. Definitely a must-see. must, must see on, And it's a miniseries. Um, I think each episode is about one hour, I think, about. Um, but you may be angry. You may get angry about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just if you didn't see it, I'm warning you now. Um, it's definitely going to cause you to be angry. And you're gonna probably be definitely, it's uh, definitely relatable to you know things that's going on now. And you yeah. know what, what what got me was I re- I read now we were watching it at the same time, and mm. she was crying and I was crying. Mm. So after it was over, she came downstairs and um, I still had up on the screen. She said, "Mom, you watched? I just was watching." She said, "You hear me crying?" She said, Man. "They treated Corey so bad." I that's said, "And just imagine there's so many other." You know, inmates that are being treated like that, they're innocent. Yeah. And he didn't want to say that, you know, he was he was guilty because yeah. he knew he wasn't. Yeah. And then back then, um, Trump, you know, he was supporting that these young men get um, the death penalty. Like, he mm-hmm. was promoting for He paid right. for advertisement and everything about... You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, this is... That's our president. But they were awarded, you know what, I mean? um, what 40, 41 million? 
Oh, I, for real? I didn't it, know that. It was awarded yeah. $41 million. Damn. Damn that's, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. But see, here's the thing. They was awarded the money. Mm-hmm. But what about the, the mental? That, 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 that can really take a toll on your life. Yes. You yes. know, I mean, I was reading like what each person did, like after, like as they, you know, mm-hmm. was exonerated or whatever, mm-hmm. and you know, they moved on to have families. But to be honest, you're gonna always need therapy. You're gonna always need Hell therapy. Yeah. With them. I'm quite sure they, you know, they was. Hell yeah! It, it was more torturing than what they were showing us. Yeah, it's it's it. it man, listen, doing jail that's not normal. You no, know it's I mean? not. No, it's not. I mean, it's not a normal lifestyle. So no. you. You should seek therapy after doing jail time. You know absolutely, what I mean? absolutely. Hey. It's therapy period. Like what you see in your community. Like, you know, I mean, I, I was I wasn't incarcerated um for that long period of time, but when I was, you know, locked up, I mean mm-hmm. that took that a toll on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sitting up and I mean, just to sit and have to watch four walls that small, uh um, anxiety was kicking in. All day. All day. No, no, that see, was no crazy. Sun. No see, no, no, nothing. You just see four walls, and and see fur coats bigger than the regular fur coats you see in your damn house. Oh wow, you got to worry about that. Yeah, you got to worry about. Man, that's crazy. What? Yo, I ain't think I ain't know that. Shit, they big enough to ride on like they a, a carnival carnival animal. Damn, <laughs> I'm exaggerating. Damn, but, but damn, I ain't think about that. You don't think crazy, about yo. having to share yourself with not only your <laughs> rat suit. Damn. Yo. There's no privacy, no privacy. Even like you got a shower curtain, like you can just pull around when you have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Everything's in the open. All that shit is inhumane, yo. It's very you know inhumane. I mean? Yeah, That's... another form of slavery. It's crazy, like definitely, definitely I, another. I, I'm form telling you, of if I would have stayed here any longer, I would have went crazy. I would have been playing with my body wet. Yeah, <laughs> I would have been in a cuckoo house. Yeah, they would have took me from there. To, that I would have to be getting three o two every time I turned around. Yeah, if I wasn't staying there any longer. <sighs> Because there is no place that anybody should want to be at. Yeah. I'm telling you, the light came on for me. Yeah. I, my whole attitude, the whole ego tripping and all that, you know. Yeah, I, I had a whole change of life. <laughs> change of everything. Absolutely. It should have, though. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I just don't understand the concept of jokers that got to keep going back and forth. Right. You know what I mean? I, I know they say it's a such thing as... Um, what they say, uh, damn, people, um, the fuck they call that when people go in and out of prison and it's like they conditioned to only want to be in prison. Right. They feel comfortable in prison. Right. Well, they, they, it's, the what movie was that when they had the guy, he, um, he was time for him to leave and he killed himself because he didn't know how to, that, he didn't know how to deal with the real world after being locked up for so many years. Damn. Yeah. Are you talking about Khalid Broder, John? No, oh, no, 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 no. It, well, it was no, it was a uh, what movie something was it? Alcaraz, something. Yeah. The guy, his he supposed to have killed his wife, but he didn't. Oh damn! No, I don't know. Morgan about Freeman. Oh shit! Morgan Freeman I don't remember. Is. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, we'd be all day trying to figure out the name of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, what what you did forget was what are you blessed about? Um this this week I'm. Um, well, every day I'm blessed about just everything. You know what I'm saying? Blessed to able to do this podcast. Blessed to breathe. Blessed to have good people in my circle, mm-hmm. family, friends. You know what I mean? Um, blessed to have a job. Blessed to have a daughter. You know what I'm, everything. You just blessed you know about I mean? everything. Yeah, I know that's right. Yeah. Well, I'm blessed um, that my daughter. She had a beautiful ceremony. <laughs> Wednesday, um, being indicted into the National Eye Society. Um, she only in the 11th grade and she's been kicking butt. She actually would be holding down two jobs. Yo, that's so dope. So I'm just like really blessed that my daughter is kind of like following my footsteps or, or better. Like I always say, I want my kids to be better than me. Yeah. You know, so I'm just like blessed about that. I'm super overexcited about that. Um, yeah, that's just dope. Blessed. That school would be out June fourth. Yeah, <laughs> my boys, yeah. my boys are are good. They just been wilding out though. Yeah, because yeah. they have to <laughs> learn how to adapt with the other kids that really don't come from the same household yeah. as they, you know, as us. So it's like I just been getting so many phone calls, which was overwhelming and stressful. And I'm just blessed that school is about to be out, and um, they will be going to another school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'm just happy about that. I'm, I'm blessed that the day didn't start without me. I'm blessed that um, you are able to hear 
are here to record because you could have passed out stroke when you oh. did that lap. Yeah, I was yeah, I was yeah, tripping yeah, thinking I'm yeah. 19 years old no, or something not, like that. No. Yeah, I mean we 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 look good, you know, mm-hmm. but you know you just gotta be careful. Yeah. So I know uh, you know I'm just you know blessed. I just you know like I said I last last Sunday I joined church church mm-hmm. I've been going to. Um, real good, nice people, love them, family. You know, that into like family or whatever. Yeah. So, dope. Yeah. Dope. Okay. So we're going to get to this week in the news. I found, I came across this story. A man from Florida is facing manslaughter charge after police report that he accidentally shot and killed a woman while they were engaged in sexual foreplay. The report says that Andrew Chenault, only 23, unintentionally shot and killed the woman around 1230. I'm sorry to be laughing about this, but 12.30 p.m. on Sunday, apparently the pair were using the gun for intimate foreplay when the gun went off and shot her in the torso, and the, she eventually uh, passed away. So I don't know what kind of foreplay they into wait, when wait. you got to use a gun. First of all, I mean, let me, let me, 23. First of all, I thought she was going to say like 43. Yeah, the way he looked, right? The way he looked. Um, yeah, he did look what old. type of foreplay are you doing with a gun? <sighs> now, is that voluntary or involuntary? Like, you going to give me, what you say, yams? So you going to give me the yams or like, what, I'm going to shoot you? Like, I don't know. That's, that's, I don't know about that. Because there's no way in the world I'm going to be laying with somebody and they're going to have a damn gun pointing at me, playing with me. No. That's an instant like, turn off. Give me or a dildo. You got enough dildos <laughs> out here to play with. You got st- you got stores for sex toys. <laughs> Are you saying a woman's choice of having that, or what I'm just saying? saying like I know some couples use sex toys. But I guess this dude decides to use his gun as a sex toy. <laughs> like, are you being cheap, my man? You just finding the nearest thing around you. Be like, oh well, I'm tired of sticking because my meat even, in her. Even Let me stick that, my gun up in her. Even with that. Take the bullets out. How about that? Take the bullets out. How about that? And, and you know what this story? That's so he's looking at him. Manslaughter? Yeah, they saying manslaughter. Not first degree murder? Well, he got the complexion for the protection. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> you know I'm what I'm saying? I'm you know done. what I mean? But from looking at him <laughs> and, you know, his picture or whatever, he looks like he's still high. You know what I'm saying? Right. They, they probably was... Intoxicated on something. Let me tell you, I don't care. I don't care, and I can put this out there. I don't mind. I don't mind saying this. I don't care how when I in my heavy drinking days. I don't care how intoxicated I was. There's no way in the world. Okay, see, I was sober up. Yeah. Somebody waving with a gun talking about we playing Russian roulette. What was that game where you got to yeah. roll the woods yeah. and shoot Russian roulette? Like yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah. no, no. Hold Can up. you imagine that nigga pulled a gun out? <laughs> He turned the slow jams on, right? <laughs> and he pull out KY jelly uh-huh. and pull the gun out and start greasing down the, <laughs> the barrel of the gun. Talking about, yeah, yeah. this next. This is next. This we next. This going up night. in the... Yo, this shit crazy. Yeah, it's crazy out here, yo. I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna tell, if, I, if I'm clothed or not, I will be out of there. You understand me? I I'll, know that's I'll right. worry about clothes later because here's the thing. I'm still living. I'm still breathing. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't even really care if I was outside... Running in the street, my birthday suit. Yeah, I'm alive. Yeah. Okay, and that was question. Like for real, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, chains of whips. Okay, if you want to bring a little yeah, more excitement yeah. to the, yeah. Like, damn, a gun. Yeah. First of all, you gotta go out what? here and, and hope you don't get shot. Yeah. So you think I'm gonna somebody to bring that to our bedroom? Yeah. So so where do gun and sex go together? You know what I'm saying? Gun and sex. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy, you yo. You a shooter for real, my man? Like, I don't, I don't yeah. get it. Yeah. That's crazy. I got crazy. on that one. Yeah, crazy story, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, this next story, the the West Virginia official who called Michelle Obama an ape, she was convicted of embezzlement. Um, her name, Pamela Ramsey Teller. She was the director of the Clay County Development Corporation. And was fined ten thousand on Thursday, and she was sentenced ten months for federal uh, federal time. You ten know what months. I'm yep. 
Yeah, she was just ten months. She was embezzling um, relief funds that uh, she falsely was registering to FEMA, FEMA benefits. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you know these a lot of these uh, you know Caucasians be doing these white collar crimes, and you see these light sentences that they get. I was going to say, remember that um, those uh, teachers that were uh, forging the um, the grades for students. Mm, yep. And they got years, yeah, like double digit years, yeah, yeah, for forging grades, yeah. And here it is, she's been embezzling money. Mm-hmm. FEMA, that's a federal crime since twenty sixteen. Since twenty, and she's only getting ten months. Ten months. Please do, do not bring up no more news of the week or things like this before I, I be to flip this table over. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So we we'll go on to the next story. This mm. is a really sad story. Very uh, sad. Very the sad. tragic story of Malia Davis, only four years old. She went supposedly missing, but you know she was left. Uh, the mother left her. Um, went on some type of vacation. Got on the plane. Yep, and Got on left the plane. her child. Knowing that the stepfather was already abusing her, mm-hmm. and she got on the plane to go on a trip. Could you imagine? You know, I couldn't even imagine you and I doing some shit like that. I couldn't even imagine. No. First of all, the first time it wasn't. Matter of fact, you have no time to abuse my kid. Exactly. That's why I'm so cautious of who I have around my kid. Like that is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. So she was already being badgered, beaten half to death, and you get on a plane. Come on now. Yep. She should be under the jail. Yep. No so, trial, no nothing, no nobody, no taxpayers losing money on court, nothing. Under the jail. Under the jail. Yep. Exactly. Um yeah, how my phone ring, but yeah, it is yeah. what it is. So I'm gonna have to write you a ticket. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a real sad story. Mm-hmm. And um We just going you got any news for the week? I did, but at this present time, like, it was something that I, I ran across. I just can't think of it right now. I'll talk about it on the next episode. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Don't worry about it. Um, so we can actually get But you know, no, 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 no. Yeah. Actually, it was something about that um, that case. Okay. The lawyer, the lawyer mm-hmm. that was uh, the lawyer. For the mom, mm-hmm. he he said he can no longer do the case because he felt as though it was something fishy about the whole situation. Yeah, early on, yup, yup. Right. Um, so it's Qu- a cuisine ex or something right, like that. Right, that's what it yeah. was. So pretty much, um, I was reading about that that the lawyer pretty much said he can no longer. Yeah, after talking, case. yeah, after talking with the mother right, and right. some of the stuff she was saying about that was going on with the the boyfriend. Right, and that's why he dropped. And it. she was still. Like you no know, contacted, like she still had contact with him while he's he was in jail. She was sending him money out of pocket and supporting girl. him. This man killed your daughter. This man killed your daughter. You still in contact with this man while he's in jail? Out of pocket. Yo. So the lawyers, you know, but you rarely find that. Like a lawyer will say, you know, I can no longer, you know, hold this case because this is crazy. So yeah. he, you know, because most lawyers they're known to not have a conscience. They're known to just like. No matter what they're going to win the case. Yeah. So I mean, it took a lot for him to do that, and you know, that's what's up. Really, it really is. Yeah. It's really sad. It's really, really sad. Dismembered him. He, he dismembered her, right? Yeah. That's insane. They said, they, so, said they got video footage of him coming out the apartment with supposedly a laundry bag and a trash bag. So here's, I mean? here's the thing. The day before he said he reported her missing. As a woman, right? I just have a question for you women out there. How in the world can you date someone, right? Date someone, have them around your child, and not see these signs of either um, jealousy or um, maybe not even wanting to interact. Mm-hmm. And then your children also, too, they tell. They tell about a person. Like, I, I read they signs. Sure I read body language. I read energy. You know, but that's why it's, it's okay, ladies, to date. It's okay, men, to date six months to a year before bringing someone around your children. But what you can do, you can talk about your children to the person that you're dating. Mm-hmm. So, you know, to, so they can get a someone an ideal. Like, I'll let anybody know. My children are not your average children. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, they are, like, uh, they're male, they're, they're very 
mattered. Well, mattered, but also too, their opinion matters to me. Mm-hmm. Meaning that if because I'm very family orientated, so if we're gonna do things, we're gonna do things together. And if it's a problem, if you don't like my kid, I pick that up. It's not. It's no us because I'm a package. So jumping right into a relationship and having somebody right around your kid right away, that's not good. That's not good at all. So um, he, he he should come out, put him on the streets because he won't last long. I'm talking about the the, the the stepfather. He ain't going to last long in, in jail. Well, he's still lasting. Yeah. He's well, still lasting. I don't know why he's lasting this long. Well, they probably got him in protective custody. Well, take him out in protective custody. Yeah. Take him out, put her in jail. See how long yeah. she lasts. Yeah. Because if I'm not mistaken, rapists, um, people that kill children, they don't last long. Nope. And that's it. Yeah. There's no reason why you should be eating every day, okay, and still breathing. When this baby is born, baby innocent, then has to be here. And you couldn't protect your child? You worried about a man? Come on now. That's crazy. Yeah, out That's of crazy. pocket, yo. Man, out of Very pocket. Very sad. Very sad. Yeah. But yeah, we, we could get into the today's uh, topic, ego tripping. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, we could start that. Um you, um, you want to get into that right away, or which one? Do- well, what it is is that so pretty much with ego tripping, we were just sitting here like I what we just mm-hmm. it's like what are we gonna talk about? And I was like, let's talk about ego tripping, and pretty much what that is is that some people can hinder their blessings because they don't want to be humble. Um, they just want to say it's their way or no way, but in, in all reality, you need a helping hand here mm-hmm. and there. Mm-hmm. And when you do get that helping hand to put to give you that good push to wherever you're at in life, don't forget where you came from. Not saying don't forget, like remember and then go backwards, meaning that you had help. It wasn't just you by yourself. You know, you was master planning, master planning, but still you had a helping hand because at one time you had a conversation with somebody, asking their opinion, or even asking for a helping hand. And some people get so self centered, they get lost. And full as though like, it's just them and they did everything and that's not supposed to be. So, you know, you just got to you just got to remain humble in life because you never know. Like you could be on that high horse and one day you just get knocked off. And then it's like the, that your attitude that you had can really turn people away from you. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, it's just me against the world. No, it's, it's not that way. It's, it's you and, and, and other people that was there at one point, you know, and, and then that can that can really deter your blessings on a lot of things. It can close a lot of doors too. Yeah. Because people are like, you know what? I don't like their attitude. I don't like their energy. I don't like that, you know, that I'm the shit. You know, you can be that way. You could be confident, but don't be overconfident. Meaning that like, you know, you looking down on people. Cause remember that you you was somewhere at one point. Yeah. You know? So it's just that 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 word humble, keep that. Keep that in the front of your head. Humble will get you a long way. Yep. Everybody needs a helping hand yeah. at some point. You know, here it is. I'm what, 41? And I'm, listen, I'll tell you real quick. You don't get a book on how to be a parent. You don't get a book on life. You learn it every day. And things change every day. So never sit up here and say, I know and you got that attitude. You know everything because you don't. It's okay to take advice from a three year old, a four year old, an eight year old, a, a, a 90 year old. A twenty-year-old, mm-hmm. it's fine because some people know a little more than you. Yeah, and that's how that's that comes with growth, you know. Because if you feel as though I'm at this age and I experience everything, no, you didn't. Because everybody experienced different things, so you have to keep an open mind, a wide mind, and understand that things change in life. Because if you like that, you'd be stuck like the boy. If I'm gonna get you sucking when he got out of jail, he still had on that '70s outfit. Yeah, it was, he was what, stuck the in 80s? That era. He yeah. was stuck in that era. So you cannot be stuck in that era. Whereas you think you got it, and you really don't. You have to keep an open mind. Yeah, and don't be ego tripping. Yeah, you know, um, with the whole ego tripping thing, I can, de- I can definitely uh, bring up some examples, mm-hmm. like far as. Me working with doctors, right? right? You know, a lot of doctors. I'm not gonna say all of them. They got big egos, right? Because mm-hmm. they feel as though they didn't went through all this schooling mm-hmm. and got all these degrees, and you know, put all these hours is working. So they feel like they have enough knowledge right. and and the power. Nobody can, you know, is on a level. You know what I mean? 
And I have noticed, like, sometimes working with certain doctors that they make mistakes. Oh, right? absolutely. They make mistakes. But my whole thing is because, mm-hmm. you know, if I'm, you know, handling the patient's lab work and we got to get these, get these, this blood work, the correct testing. Right. But some doctors, you know, we all humans. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with human error. But these doctors think they kind of godlike. You know what I'm saying? You can. And they don't make mistakes, right? Right. So when I actually go to them and be like, um, sorry, doctor, such and such, you ordered the wrong test. This mm-hmm. patient isn't diabetic. And, you know, some of them, they'd be like, oh, um, thank you. Thank you. I'm, right. I'm glad you caught that. But then you got some that be like, what? No. Mm-mm. I, I ordered what I ordered. But That's they crazy. don't want to say That's that crazy. they made that mistake. Right. I know they made a mistake. Right. But like, no, I ordered that. I, I ordered that. I know I ordered that. Right. But this patient isn't diabetic. No, well, we're doing a screening then. <laughs> it's a screening. <laughs> right, right. Okay, it's a screening. Mm-hmm. Well, I need you to correct this and put the right procedure right. code in this net. Oh, okay. I'll handle that. I'll handle that later. <laughs> you, you just make sure you get that blood. Did you get the Did you get the blood? <laughs> yeah, the, the patient is gone, but I'm just trying. I, right. I just went over because I'm about to process this to send right. it out. I want to make sure it gets out properly. Oh yeah, uh, no problem. Thanks for that. And, and you know, you all. yeah. But you know what's but crazy they, they, that you brought that up about yeah. the whole diabetic thing. You know, it was doctors that was uh, had patients on diabetic medication and they were not diabetic. Yeah, but they eventually became diabetic. Yeah, that is Shit sick. crazy, yo. That is crazy. So here's the thing: you must know your body. Because I swear we're gonna, you are a lab rat dealing with some doctors. Honest, honest, t- yes, you are. You are a lab rats because they will have their phone and you think they're doing something. They're actually googling things, googling what the hell to give I you. I am so glad you said they that. Are bro. They are googling what to give really you. And let me tell are. you something: switch your damn PCP when you, if see, you see that a lot. If you see them with their phone all the time and they're Mm-mm. and they're talking to you and they're googling. Get the hell out of here. Exactly. Yo, I'm you so glad you brought that you up. You lab rat. Um, it's this, it, well, you know, I can't say no names, but it's this older doctor, right? Mm-hmm. And everybody be like, dang, he's so fast. He's so fast. But he know his shit. He know his patience. Mm-hmm. And I'm not mad at a doctor like that. Right. For those patients that have, you know, a lot of serious um chronic illnesses mm-hmm. yeah he's with them a little longer you know they might be older this and that he's more with them a little longer right but the ones that's you know Fairly got hypertension right. and you know just the regular stuff i'm coming to get a medic med- you know medicine refill or i come to get some blood work or physical mm-hmm. he's pretty fast because he know them he already know the history he already then went in their chart before they even got there he yes, know sir. what he's doing so he already didn't Condition his mind like all right, boom. This is my pick for the for the day. Mm-hmm. So he's in and out, and I respect that. You right. know what I'm saying? All all he want is for you to get his patients in. Like he do be become an asshole if if he feel like you working with him and you slacking. Right. You, you ain't up to his speed. Right. Because he his ego is crazy, but at the same time he know his shit. Okay. So he ain't one of them doctors that's carrying his phone. Right. I actually never seen his phone out. Oh, that's really good. You feel what I'm saying? He's, he's I, and this is what you just said. It's a lot of them doctors it makes you that I work with that got that phone out. Seeing. Yeah, it makes you more yeah. confident who you're going to see because your life is in their hand because you not knowing. You're putting all your faith and trust in a doctor. That's not good because no. you don't know. You don't know to watch out for the signs of the do's and the don'ts because they can put you on medication that's not needed. And then you've been taking this medication for so long. Now your body is just adapted so now you just jacked up yeah you know but yeah. i do want to shout out my doctor while we're at <laughs> thorough listen people come near new patients they on i mean trash bags of medication she shut it down she mm. put them and they're they're healthier they're they're happier coming in because our motto is leaving out different than way you came in mm. you know and they're coming they think they, they're coming back for their two weeks because their 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 faith is confidence in the doctor because she's teaching and telling you, not just talking to you in those doctor terms where you just sitting there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got it. So yeah. that's the that's that's a good thing. So if you can get a doctor that is not only you know telling you but teaching you as well how to become more healthier, 
then you want then you want the money. Yeah. You know. What I'm yeah. Saying? You right, and so, uh, something else I want to talk about. As far as you know, the the big ego thing, the ego tripping thing. Um, you gotta beware of like those people that um, you know, they got this big ego and they feel as though they only do things just to get something, you know, back. Like for instance, you. you know, like I know you know some people that own their own business or whatever. Right. And the type of person I am is like. You know, they might say to me, like, yo, I want to work with you with, on something. And then I'll be like, well, that's what's up. Well, I'm, a, um, you know, because me, I'm a type of person, I'm going to try to put somebody else on, too. Right. And if I can't help you, I have, my ego is not that big. Like, I'm like, look, I'll be straight up like, look, well, I'm not good in that area. Right. But I'm going to go get somebody that can. That can. And they'll say, well, no, I don't want to put that person on. You know what I'm saying? I don't like them. You know what I'm saying? I like That's you gotta crazy. be aware of them kind of right. people because like how, how serious are you about your business? Right. right. If I'm telling you like yo, I'm being real with you like 100%. yo, I'm not, I'm not comfortable of working in that area because it's not my you know expertise. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm not an expert with that. So I'm a I know somebody that is though, and I'm gonna mm-hmm. put them on connect you y'all together. No, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I don't like, like them. I, yeah. But did, did you ever ask, like, what do you what do you not like about them? Have you actually had a conversation with that person? Or did you listen to somebody else that didn't like them and let you let them tarnish your thoughts? Because that's another... That's another yeah, how about that? Yeah, that's very... In our community, that's what we do. We don't give each other a chance. Like, we don't... We'll, we'll go by he say, she say. Oh, I don't like this person because it could be something small and stupid. Are you kidding me? My mom and grandma always told me, never let nobody control your mind. Meaning that from a kid, if you told me I don't like such and such, okay, I don't know him. I'm going to get to know him. Yeah. Let me let me, let me me be the judge of that. Let me see why I don't like this person. Yeah. And we could be the best, like the best of friends or like we can, we can really go far mm-hmm. in life. But then if you have a problem because I like somebody that you don't, well, kick rocks. Because you're not going to, you're not going to turn me away from somebody that could be a huge blessing. Mm-hmm. You know, it'll give you the smallest thing, you know, and that's that's um, that's a huge problem in our in, in, in the community. Like we don't stick together like you. You could be good at one thing. That person could be good at one thing. And we come together to be magnificent. Yeah. But because of the ego thing, I don't like this person. Why don't you like this person? Have you ever sat there and had a real conversation? Have you got to really know this person or did you just go about what somebody else said? Yeah. Those type of people stay the hell away from me. You come to me talking about, yeah, man, I don't like this person. Okay? We both just met this person. What you don't like about him? I'm not picking up yeah. nothing bad about you know, him. You know, sometimes... <laughs> sometimes do you, I mean, people, do you like yourself? Yeah, sometimes <laughs> people be on some delusional hate and shit, yo. Yeah. Like, they just see somebody, you know, they'll start just hating on something by the person, the way they look. Or right. the amount of attention that that person getting. Right. Oh, damn, he stepped in the room and maybe it was a female that, you know, Ignorant. you was interested in too, right. but that female not showing you no attention. Or vice versa. Yeah, or you know what I'm saying? Versa. But he, this dude steps in the room, you don't right. know him, but you hating on him because right. he's getting attention, but he really is a cool guy. A really cool person. Yeah. And that could be as far as a female. A female step into a room, she getting attention from a guy that you probably had your eye on, so now you don't like this woman. Come on. We got to get better. Come on. That could be somebody that can really bless you in ways that you don't even understand. But because you ignorant, you got a problem with yourself. I don't like that person. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, real quick for me, for me to not, not like somebody is your attitude. Mm-hmm. You know how you present yourself. You coming off, you grit, you nasty, just that, damn, I don't, I don't, I'm cool, I don't like this person. But then when you come back around, I'm still going to give you another chance. Don't get me wrong, but that's, that was the first impression. Because maybe you was having a bad day. I don't know that. Yeah. You know, but if you come around, I'm still not going to have no ill feelings towards you. I just say, you know, mm, I'm going to shut down. I'm not going to be like that smoky type, you know, person I normally am. But I still give you a chance. And then yeah. like that second go around, you probably are cool. Okay. I'm not going to completely shut down. But it's like damn first impression is, yo, I'm good on you. Your whole attitude, your energy is crazy. But not knowing what you probably went through. I'm not every day my 100% best. But what I try not to do is take out on others what I'm going through. And the whole treat others the way you want to be treated. No, I'm going to treat you according. I'm going to treat you how you treat me. 
Exactly. And, you know, you know, we came up on that real heavy. Treat us the way you want to be treated. You know, I do want to be treated the best. I do want to be treated. But sometimes that cannot land you in a great place. It can get you really angry. Punching walls. Yeah. <laughs> punching the concrete. Yeah, but sometimes it could, it, it, it could take away stress. Yeah. It, you know it, what I'm saying? It can. Yeah. It, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. What can take away stress? The punching in the wall? No, no, not the that. Or no. What? Like... <laughs> You know how you said you treat people accordingly, mm-hmm. how they treat you. You right. know what I mean? Right. Like, sometimes that's needed. Just let them treat you like that. All right, well, like, for for instance, like, motherfuckers be rude at my job as far as, like, not, not saying good morning. Right. Right. I, You know, I was that dude saying, hey, good morning. Like, mm-hmm. it's 7.45 in the morning, 8 o'clock. You should say good morning to me. We work together. But you straight up walk past me and ignore me. Okay. I'm going to treat you like you treat me. Now, let me tell you my you know whole... I'm I don't even fucking speak to no, you. No, let me tell you my whole take on that, right? Another thing my mom and grandma told me, said, I understand that you say that, good morning, good morning, and they don't say it back, mm-hmm. but one day they will. Some people, I'm telling you... I don't, have, I don't have that kind of I know, I know, that. I know. It took me a while to get there because yeah. I was like, man, I was so stubborn. I said, man, I'm not speaking to somebody that's going to speak to me, but I, I did it. I tried it. I did it. And I still well, do it. I'm not there yet. This is what I say. I say, good morning. Yeah, if I get it back, I get it back. If I don't, I don't. I know that I, me, I did it. I did it. I'm in the shit. I'm not yeah. going to let you change it because your, your world is in turmoil. I don't know. One day you might say, you know what? Good morning. <laughs> and then yeah. that's that. You know, like, don't hold, don't hold that resentment of, you know, letting people change how you are. If you were mm. like a, a, a morning person, you always say good morning. Continue to say good morning. Good good afternoon. Good night. I don't care if it's 20 people in the room and only two people say it. You, you you're the person that's being watched. That's your personality. Don't, no, don't never let nobody discern me. you know how you are. Mm. Don't let nobody take that away from you. Yeah, that's you were you a lucky, happy go person. Good morning, smiling all the time. Somebody say, why the hell are you always smiling? Because I'm glad to be alive. And you should be too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. there's so many RIPs going around here. It's crazy. I'm happy to be alive. Good morning. Yeah. Keep it moving. Keep that energy going. Keep that positive. Keep that light going. Don't let nobody, you know, stop it. Because then you will let them win. They're winning. Yes. Some people, I'm telling you, some people feed off negative. Some people feed off negative energy. Yeah, they do. That's how they survive. Yeah. That's how they're living because it's like, I'm so angry, I'm so mad, I just, mm, I just want to pass it on. I want to touch everybody with this negative energy. No. Good morning. How you doing? I'm smiling. Whether I want to smile or not. Whether I ain't get two hours of sleep. Because sometimes, you know, I don't get enough sleep. And I'm telling you, I be looking like a zombie in the morning. I don't really wake up until about 11, 12 o'clock. Because I'm not a morning person. Yeah. But I will, good morning. Good morning. Mm-hmm. And even like in, 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 in passing on the streets. Now, I've said this many times. Like, I love down south because down south, everyone speaks. How you doing? How you doing? Up here? Oh, my God. People looking at you like you crazy. And I love it. I love it now. Man, I listen, love it. They look I at you it. crazy if you. I love it. Women look at me crazy. I hold the door for them. Yeah, but see, you know, that's okay. But keep going. Because that's. <laughs> no, I, that's I keep you. doing it. You that's know you. what I mean? That's you. And one day, that, that, you know, that's things like that, people remember. That's how a man is yeah. supposed to do. Yeah. That's how. That's just manners. I told you the story before. Wait, took, the mm-hmm. took the chick out on a oh, date. Took the chick Took the chick out on a date. I was going to say, "What are you saying?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I took the chick out on a date. Mm-hmm. This woman opened the door for her. She said, "Oh, you being fancy, you know." And I was in my mind. I was like, "Oh, okay, damn, that's fucked up that she said that." Right. But I'm like, "All right, she's not used to being out." With a gentleman. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she got an experience. And just that experience, you know, even though we ain't end up as a couple or nothing like that. Right. But she, she going to remember that. Oh, absolutely. For the rest of her life. Absolutely. She going to remember you know that. I mean? Like, damn. Absolutely. Every time we went out, he opened the door for me. Absolutely. My car door. And when we went into the restaurant. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy. But you know what? Just just now, I just thought about this. I want to shout out, because um, this, this is Gemini season. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of Gemini's, um, including my mom, um, you know, who's no longer here. But when was her birthday? June. It's coming up June eighth. Oh, June eighth. June eighth. My Saturday. Father, his birthday was the 29th, May ninth. May twenty ninth. Okay, they just passed so Tuesday, I think. Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Was when, one of them. Okay, so my cousin Andre's birthday was May thirtieth. My little, my his son's birthday was Friday, May thirty first. 
Damn. Yeah, so wait a minute. The 28th was Wednesday, right? I don't know. Yeah, so the 20th was Wednesday. The 30th, the 31st was on Friday. There's so many Geminis in my family. It's crazy. So, like, my cousin Andre, his son, my cousin Jimmy, um, my little cousin. This is so many Geminis. Your cousin family. Jimmy, that's the one that Jimmy got Black, married, right? The one I got married. Yeah, it's, okay. It's so many Geminis, yeah. Geminis um, in the family. Uh, I just want to shout them. You know, happy birthday Damn. to y'all. It's a yeah. lot of them. That's a lot. Yeah. So, Damn, so May and June. May and June. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. yeah. Alicia, that was on the show. Hustle Mom. Yeah, her, her birthday. birthday was yeah, 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 her birthday. Um, yeah. It's mm-hmm. a lot of Geminis. Um, whew. Yeah, a lot of people I went to school and I'm seeing, you know, a lot of birthdays. This is, yeah, my first boyfriend. Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. So, it's my mom. She was a Gemini. My grandma was so, a Leo. So, when you said that, that brought a smile to your face. No, that it was a lot of Geminis. Oh, today. okay. That's what you said. Uh, the no, first I boyfriend. See, no, no. <laughs> You're like, I it see where you're going. It wasn't even legit. It wasn't yeah, even legit. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just You know, I came up where yeah. I couldn't even have a boyfriend. Yeah, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah. Listen, my first thing was Chaperone. <laughs> Wow, that was that's the old movies school. in an arcade on Chestnut Street. Yeah, that's, that's old school. That's how far school. back I'm going. Yeah. And they had a 49ers. Uh, wow. 49ers. What was the, the starter? Uh, starter? Starter jackets. That's when I was a 49ers fan. Yeah. So... You an Eagles fan now? I'm an Eagles fan. I've been an Eagles fan since Randall Cunningham. Okay. Yeah. All I was right, a 49ers right. fan. Right. Yeah, because you know yeah. everybody was tripping because I used to have the 49ers started. Yeah, then, so you was know. a 49ers fan because they yeah. was winning all them Super Bowls. Well, not only that. You they know, was winning you know, all those. Ignoring on my part was the color. The, the color was... The, 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 the colors that, was fire. Like gold and... And the gold and the fire red. red. Yeah. yeah, that shit. It was that, fire. So that crazy. was the first attraction yeah. to the 49ers yeah. to me. And then, of course, you know, they was kicking ass. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, Randall Cunningham, yeah. yeah. That was my little crush when I was younger. Damn, but you said chaperone. Yo, I had my, I, my first day with chaperone. Had, yeah, okay? I, I had that going on back then. You know, I've, I've been on situations like that mm-hmm. where the date was chaperone. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how I supposed to be That's with old my school, yo. She's 16, that, I like I that. Care. Yeah. I, I, she'd be 17. The, the, the date would be chaperone. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, I had old a hard school. time processing. That she was asked to go on a prom, somebody's prom, a senior prom. Oh, so man. I was losing sleep. And yeah. I, was like, I don't know how. <laughs> I was losing sleep. I was down there barely eating. Yeah. You know, I love to eat. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, but he got transferred to another school. You know, I was supposed to go and meet the family. Yeah, but he just he just went to another school and he lost contact. Yeah, nice oh, looking dope. fella, nice looking, nice looking young fella. And smart. they be the ones. Smart, yeah. I was just like, yeah, my they be the ones. Like, oh my god. He like, oh man, oh. she fall head over heels over him. But she's strong because you yeah. know I think I put that fear in her of you know plus seeing her little brothers. I'm like, this yeah. is what happens. This yeah. is what happens. But even yeah. though I I um I remain to be a virgin for a long, long time, but not mm-hmm. long. 18, 18. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, you hearing 10, 11, 12, yeah. 13, you know, and it's just like, I just would show her. Yeah, I just maybe, was maybe teaching 12, and talking 13. to her because 12. you have to talk to your children. Don't let them go out there and be surprised. Mm-hmm. Talk to them. Don't, yeah. don't let them be out there like Carrie. <laughs> They're all going to laugh at you because you ain't know nothing because your yeah. mom's local owner. Now, I'm local owner, but I'm still talking and teaching to her. Yeah. You know? Real rap. Like yeah, I'm not, that's I'm old not school. talking about birds. I'm talking about real life shit. Listen, this is what happens if you lay on have sex, and this is what happens. You can end up with this. This is STDs coming out that people they don't have cures for. This is what happens. Now, do you want to be walking around here like this? Because you, you know, I was putting a little more on it. Yeah. You walking around here like this, you, your eyeball keep popping out your damn head. I was yeah. exaggerating, but listen, yeah. anything to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> she was fearful. Look, go to school. Oh. Boys are always going to be here. Yep. Don't worry about fitting in with the crowds and all. Just get your education, please. And Just, she don't want to end up with an Andrew Chenault putting guns up women vaginas <laughs> and shooting a gun, shooting them up in their vagina. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, That's the worst STD ever. Death. Yeah, death. He, he you know what? You is simple. You <laughs> is simple. <laughs> that, yeah. that STD, you, you can't jump back from that. Mm-mm. Ain't no cure for that but a coffin. Yeah. And, and your address says six and brown. Mm, bye bye. Yeah. You no longer here because you want to have risky sex. Damn. Yeah, stuff like that. So mm. don't sugarcoat it. Listen, I talk to listen. I know we're going on topic, but it's all about communication, 
and talking and teaching. Sit down with your kids. Sit down with your loved ones. Listen, how was your day? What's going, what you going through? Mm. Don't just wait till something to happen and then you feel bad and now I should have. No, you can. You can. Get on the phone. Call your loved ones. Check on them. Friends, whatever. Every Somebody's always going through something. You good. So now you got time to actually reach out and touch and, 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 and talk to people. You know? Yeah. It's nothing wrong with that. It only takes a couple of minutes. You know, and yeah. that's why with you, you know, please continue to say good morning. Just continue. I'm telling you, one day it's going to shock you. Don't fall. Don't run into nothing. It's going to shock the hell out of you. That they're yeah. going to respond back because yeah. you don't got under their, that spirit. Done got yeah, I into think, them. But I think it's more so of I don't want to fucking say good morning or say anything to anybody. So that's the part right so there. So all the mics, we won't get into it. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know I'm, I, you yeah. know I'm, you know we, we yeah. be having like thorough conversations off the mic, but yeah. please just, yeah, just hello. Yeah, I, yeah, because it takes a lot out of me. You know what I'm How? saying? Like it doesn't. No, no, I'm just saying not a lot. I don't mean a lot, yeah. but like I don't be, I don't be wanting to fucking be there. And I feel as though if I say good morning to you, you need to say it back to me. Miz, you know what I'm saying? Ego tripping. Yeah, I am. Yeah, actually. yeah. All right. Yeah. So listen, I don't ego am. trip. Don't ego yeah. trip. Yeah. Be blessed to be there. Some people are That's fact. trying to find a job, trying to find a way yeah. to pay their bills. You know, don't ego trip. Hello, good morning. You blessed. Yeah. You are blessed. Don't let nobody hinder your blessings. Good morning. Mm-hmm. Say it loud so everybody can hear it. Yeah. Let that. Let that. I'm gonna yell that, that shit tomorrow. Yeah, let that energy filter through. Let, yeah. Listen. Let it trigger. Like, they are gonna be all in the hallway right. talking good amongst morning. themselves, and they usually don't speak back to mm-hmm. me. I'm gonna be like, "Good morning." You know what? They and gonna be like, "You know, I'm done. This nigga I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. No, not that." <laughs> <laughs> On that note, y'all know how we like to end things. Dream hard. It don't sleep forever. Peace. Peace. You are crazy. <laughs> you, you, you are now an official hood genius. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Y'all know what to do. Hit that follow button.